Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, today is a morning routine. So, uh, I just got to the beach about four or five days ago. So, I have kind of adjusted my morning routine uh, a little bit different here. I've been trying to be a little bit more um, conscious of being on like the health grind, I guess you could say, with my morning routine. I've always been a big routine person, uh, especially just being in school and sports and stuff. I always had my schedule mapped out to a T, but now I don't have much going on. So it's kind of up to me to make my schedule, which is good and bad for me. So what my main goal has been to wake up a little bit earlier, uh, have a longer morning so my day feels longer and I get more out of my day. I've really been enjoying that. So I'll wake up around like 7.30, 7.45 when normally I would sleep until like 9, 9.30, which is like wasting your whole morning um so i'll get up take winnie out uh, she's just laying over there she'll normally like go back to sleep but uh i wake up start my day relax a little bit i just uh, made my bed in my room brushed my teeth did all that so downstairs now in the kitchen here's winnie hey she's been so good you guys i'm so lucky <laughs> look at her look at how big she's getting it's so sad but we're gonna start off i normally Go make a coffee, but I'm gonna do some water really quick. I woke up really thirsty. So I'm gonna make, we normally have like a pitcher of lemon water, but I don't see it. So I'm gonna make a fresh one. I've been loving uh, doing this little pitcher. I think my mom got this from Crate and Barrel. I can link them for you guys because I think they're pretty inexpensive. You can probably also find some on Amazon. I just like to fill this up uh, in the mornings with lemon and lime slices and then ice and water. I have this, this, and sometimes I like to add a little bit of orange slices, so I think I'm gonna do that today. So we're gonna add all this into the water, um, and then this will stay good in the fridge for like up to two to three days, and you just keep refilling it. And it's just a nice little treat to have. Also, if you're craving something sweet, this really helps it, and I always have a sweet tooth, so this is very helpful. Always like roll it, it gets it, all the juices flowing. <laughs> and I just slice them pretty thin. Then lime. There's literally nothing better than lime water. I don't know what it is, but it's just so good. Orange. take a little Instagram story. I've been loving uh, posting my mornings on Instagram. Anytime I go to get ice, look who comes to see me. Do you want this? She like loves ice and like cold drinks. Ready? Thank you. There you go. not the right password okay so what I do uh, once I come downstairs normally I like to try to stay off of my phone and stuff as long as possible but you know some days like you just have to get on it I have online school today at 12 so I just want to make sure that I'm ready for all that I have all my parts done for the zoom call and I'm like prepared and then I will go probably make a coffee so I'm gonna have a water first I find having a water first thing before my coffee has really been helping because I get really shaky after I have caffeine, but I like it too much to give it up. So uh, having a water before really helps and like sometimes eating something. But if I wake up early, like right now it's only 8.14. So when I wake up early, I don't have, I mean, then I 8.14 probably isn't even early to some of you guys, but when I wake up like that, like normally I don't eat until around like 9.30 or 10. 
uh, unless it's like maybe like a handful of fruit or something. So I like to have my coffee and then I'll have like a smoothie or something later on. So yeah, I'm gonna sit at my computer and just make sure I'm all good for this. And then we're gonna go make a coffee and maybe go take Winnie on a walk and do a workout. That's what I've been loving, so. Winnie, what do you think? You wanna go on a walk maybe? Just rub my eye and I had lemon juice in it and now it's burning, so it's fun. The day that I'm done with, hey, you can't bite the walls. I can't do school any longer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make my coffee. I'm just gonna put it in this little to-go today because I'm going to take Winnie on a walk and have my coffee at the same time. Normally I've been using these glasses that I absolutely love. These are from Crate and Barrel. I got them for mine in Dylan's apartment as well. I can link these glasses for you guys because they're so bomb for coffee and I think they're like two dollars or something like that. So I'm gonna use this cup. I'm gonna go make a coffee. We have this coffee maker down here but my mom has an espresso machine in her room so I'm gonna go use that. Sorry. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go make a coffee up in her room quick and then we're gonna go on a little walk. I think I'm gonna do vanilla. God, sorry. What? I said sorry. Oh no, I've been up since like six. Oh. Dad left. Then I went back to sleep. Then I was up a little bit ago. I'm just laying here. I'm about to go take Winnie on a walk with my coffee. Okay. This is my little sunscreen bag. I got it when I ordered swimsuits from Triangle. Their bags that they put their suits in are so nice, but I always put on this SPF on my lips before I go anywhere outside because if my camera would focus. Come on, girl. Are you ready? So beautiful outside today. It's only like nine o'clock and it's already so hot though. She's trying to stay as far away from the water as she can because she's so scared of the noise of the waves. <laughs> that was a long walk, right? We had to come home a little early because she was like panting for water and I knew she was like super thirsty. So also something bit me on my big toe. So it's great. I need to go ice it. It's like walking through the sand. Dad. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? I don't know why I'm Danny, something bit me on my big toe and it hurts so bad. What are we watching? Uh, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse? Yeah, I don't see Aladdin. Oh, cool. See? I'm in All right. Oh, Aladdin. We have Disney Plus. You can sign in. Come here. There you go. I was walking and in the grass and something like jabbed into my toe and then it like all of a sudden was so itchy and I was like, is this poison ivy? And I was like, no, it wouldn't already be itchy, right? Yeah. It, but it was stinging so bad and so I put an ice cube on it and it's better now, but it was like really hurting. And also Winnie was terrible on the walk. The tide is like so high that she's so scared of the water so there wasn't much place to walk except close to the water. So she was like freaked out the whole time. Oh, and she pooped again in someone's yard and I didn't have anything to pick it up. Yeah, I know. Just finishing up my coffee really quick. I'm about to make a smoothie, but I just wanted to show you guys how I kind of stay organized. Uh, every morning I have a new sticky note that I just use on my computer. I just use the, just this notes tab right there. I have so many files open because I'm like doing a bunch of stuff right now, but um, so I just put the day and then kind of in order of what I need to do. So I need to send in video. Uh, I have some schoolwork. I need to check on where some packages are. And then I have a meeting at 12 with my professor on Zoom. 
and then I need to call about when he has a vet appointment tomorrow, but they haven't like followed up, so I don't know if it's still happening. So that's just kind of how I stay organized. I know some people are like a pen and paper type of person, but I just have always done everything on my computer. Like if I'm already looking at my computer all day, I am more likely to like look at it and get it down. I like to just use the notes because it already comes on the Mac, but if you have a Windows or something, there's so many like organizational things you can use. Even just like the calendar is really nice. I normally all my stuff in the calendar like this and it's super helpful every day I can go day by day and see what I need to have done so that's what I do I'm gonna work on this stuff and try to get some of this mom you're in the background with a towel on I need to brush her Danny, sometimes people don't want to answer 500 questions in one minute. Is this spinach already washed? Yes, and it's like, let me just make sure oh, it's thoroughly good. washed. I love having smoothies in the morning if I like have a slow morning because then I'll have kind of a second breakfast after that. So I'm gonna do a smoothie while I continue work on my computer. This needs to be shut. This is the blender I use. I have the same one at home. This is my parents, obviously, but my parents have this cool little uh, thing where you can make a single serving. So it's just this little blender cup and you stick it right in. So this is very convenient. So I'm gonna do half of a frozen banana, handful of spinach, strawberry, mango, and hemp seeds. And I think that will be enough liquid. If not, I'll just add some water. But this is my go-to. I love mango in my smoothies. And then hemp seeds help like me actually get full for a little bit. And yeah, so I'm gonna make this and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so spinach. I try to get as much spinach as I can because you literally can't taste it. So <laughs> pack that in there. Do like three strawberries. Handful of mango. This. I like to just put hemp seeds on top, but I'm also gonna put some in there. A banana. So this should be good. If I have to add some liquid, I normally like to do coconut water, but I don't think we have any. But we do have coconut water. Dad said we didn't. Uh, coconut milk. I guess I could use a little of this. Do a little coconut milk. I normally don't use this, but it's okay. I might make it creamy. It actually is really good. Do you want to try it, Mom? Mm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Because the banana and everything was so thick. Mm hmm Yeah, that's really that's good. good. That's I'll nice. put all the ingredients in the description for you guys so you can try it. What's that's like nice my go-to. The main two ingredients in a smoothie, mango and banana, because it's just so good together. And then also the spinach you literally can't taste because the fruit just like covers it up. So it's a good way to get in some like greens in the morning instead of just eating like raw spinach. So that's my little trick. And then I also have been taking these every morning. This is my care of packets. This is not sponsored. I just really have been enjoying taking these. So I'll take these with my water and my smoothie. I was taking these with my coffee, but then I realized that I needed to have them with food because it was kind of making me not nauseous, but a little lightheaded. So I take these when I have my first breakfast. So. I love it. Today's quote is, I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things I cannot accept. I love that. They have the best quotes every day. So Such a good breeze. Right when I walk outside, everything just gets like coated with moisture because it's so hot out. But I love coming out on this front porch and sitting. And I can always like do my emails and school from home for a little bit. So I like to take a little break from the computer because I feel like it's not the best to just be staring the computer screen all morning so people who can just take their whole handful of like morning supplements or pills in one gulp i'm jealous of you because i cannot 
Should I try to do two at once? I'm scared. These two are pretty little. Let's try it. Did it. <laughs> this little chair my mom got from Home Goods and it is just so relaxing. Sometimes I'll like come out here and read, especially when the sun's going down because they get a really good sunset from the front of their house. So just hanging out. I'm also going to be at the beach for like the next month. So that's kind of why. Sorry if you can't even like see my eyes in this whole video because it's ball cap. But I'm going to be here for the next like month. So I figured I would get a good morning routine and night routine established just so then I kind of felt like I was on a routine on like like when I wake up I have like a purpose of like something to do I feel like a lot of people if you're struggling during this time it's really easy to just kind of wake up and be like what do I have to get out of bed for or look forward to and I feel like if you find a routine that you really love and stick with it it makes you feel happy and good about yourself then in the mornings you look forward to doing it like I look forward to waking up and having my cup of coffee spending time with Winnie just like a relaxing morning doing like my few things that I do every morning kind of keeps me grounded and like sane during all of this especially because I've been struggling with not having my own place for so long and not having my stuff unpacked and I'm so thankful that my parents have like an extra bedroom here and that Sarah and Ben uh, let me stay with them for the past like God even knows how long but It's just been crazy. I know when there's not much to do or you're working from home It's kind of like you don't really know what to do with your day or like how to make a routine But if you just find the few little things that you love and set them aside and put them in an order that you love and works for you I feel like it will really help you out if that makes any sense and I know people who work from home are used to this because I mean I just have always worked from home and my laptop and have done school from home and stuff so it's been nice for me I've just been struggling with uh, not having my own space since like all of this hit like the virus and all of that has been going on um, I've just been struggling with not having my own space so I know I'm probably not the only one so if that's you just find a few things that you can do to make you feel like you have a routine or on track and stuff so it's my little tip I don't even know if that even made any sense but I'm gonna sit out here, drink my smoothie, and look at my phone. I also haven't really checked Instagram at all today uh, until now, and it is 10:15. So uh, I wouldn't recommend waking up and just looking immediately at your phone. It's something I've been trying not to do. I'm not a huge like meditator or journaler or anything like that, but I am big on uh, kind of taking time for yourself in the morning. And I feel like if you look at your phone, you immediately get whether that be positive or bad vibes from it. It's just kind of like if you wake up and you wake up with a hundred bad work emails or a bad comment or something like that it's just not the best for your morning so I've been trying to not do that in the mornings and stay off my phone until then again I will check my because I'm in online classes right now I'll check my school email and make sure I have all my work done because both of my classes involve like group work and then I will check to see if I have any important emails from management or my professors so that's really all I look at until uh, until I'm probably like having breakfast or something and then I'll sit and scroll on my phone, so. Oh my god, my flashlight has been on this whole time, you guys. I always do that. I always hit my flashlight. Oh my god, I'm 
The orange in this, mom, is so good. I feel like it's like a hotel water. You know how they do that at the lobbies? Coming out here and doing little workouts. So I ordered a Lululemon yoga mat, but it's still not here. So I've just been using this thick beach towel. And then these are my ankle weights I use from Bala. And these are the one pound ankle weights. And I got them off of Bala's website, but I know that they're sold out currently, but I'll try to find a link. I know free people carries them, Amazon, but they're like, They've been sold out since everyone's doing like at-home workouts recently. But I'll try to link them even if they are sold out, you can like get your name on a wait list or something. So I use those, move this little table. I need to move this swimsuit I wore it yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna do a seven minute arm with Melissa Wood and then I'm gonna do the seven minute abs with Tasha Franken. I know that Melissa Wood, you have to pay, I think it's 10.99 a month maybe a little more but i i've been signed up with her and i think it's well worth the money and then tasha's uh workout videos are free on her instagram so i'm gonna do those all together it's about 15 minutes um and my whole body will be on fire after so uh, i'm just wearing this little workout set this little crop is from princess polly i can link it but then my bra my bra is from Ali Yoga, and then my biker shorts are the Lululemon Align biker shorts. I love these. I wear them all the time. So I'm gonna do my little workout. Oh, and my hat is from Aloe as well. Seven minute ab series. It's gonna be quick, effective. You need no equipment, just a mat and a little bit of floor space. <laughs> I'm literally doing my workout outside and my mom comes out with a whole paper towel full of blood Smi Smashes her finger into the the knife into her finger. It's great And the watermelon isn't even that <laughs> Zoom call. I need to raise these up so you guys can see me. Finding a spot to set your camera in a bathroom is like a struggle. So changed into a bikini. It's raining a little bit, but I know it's gonna blow over because the sun is still shining. So I just went ahead and put on my swimsuit, but wanted to finish up this little morning routine showing you guys what I do to kind of prep before I go onto the beach or just start my day in general. Favorite thing to do is a low bun. Especially because my roots are terrible right now. So, okay, so put my hair up and then since I just did a workout, I did get sweaty. Been loving these little um, cleansing cloths. This is what they look like. I've been using these for a while now. I ordered them off of Amazon and they smell so good. And instead of having to like wash my face again, since I already did that this morning, it's just like a little refresher so it just feels nice and gets all the sweat off so your sweat isn't just sitting in your skin <laughs> and then i'm recently loving this lotion it's the mini size one i got for like my birthday gift at sephora it's 
smells so bomb. It's just this. Sorry, Danny's watching TV downstairs. Coco Cabana Cream, it's uh, by the Sol de Janeiro, but it's this like blue one. And then I'll finish off with, let me shut this for you guys. You can hear me. I'll finish off with this little lip jelly. But yeah, the sun is like already coming out. It's crazy how at the beach, um, the storms pass through so quick. So. That is basically it for the morning. I'll do a little sunscreen as well. Obviously, I'm going to be in the sun, but my sunscreen is in my beach bag outside. So this little swim is from Nasty Gal, and then this little cover-up, I'll link their Instagram. It's the cutest little, like, European company, and it's out of Miami, I think. They sent me a few pieces, so absolutely love this little baby. That is that. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's little morning routine, kind of show you how I've been enjoying my mornings, trying to stay on track and things like that. If you're struggling with your mornings and finding a routine, I would just recommend really finding things that you like to do and incorporate them into your morning. So if you guys liked this video and want to see more like routine style things, let me know. I'm going to be filming a nighttime routine as well. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. Follow me on Instagram, all of that. I always have it linked down below. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.